Welcome back to Factorio in the tutorial series with me, JD. Alright, so we've got the basics running. We've got some copper. We've got some iron. A little bit left. Not a lot left. In fact, really not a lot left. Uh, please don't cap that chest. I did. Um, we need to we need to look at where we're using iron and try and cut some of this stuff down. That's probably enough ammo. Um, now something for the more experienced players uh, mechanics were changed in version 16 for lots of things one of the first things that was changed was quick replacing of belts which is awesome second thing was changed was belt compression so normally we could get the last few inserters to put onto underground belts to make sure that out the other side we had what was known as a fully compressed belt. This one's not quite fully compressed. I might actually have any belt. Really? Oh, I sort of un left that one slightly uncapped. So you'll see that there are tiny little it, it, imperceivable gaps in there. Right? Um, but gaps are bad. So... Take that that way. I'm going to put that through there. I'm going to take that to there. And this seems like the best method for compression as of date. Right. Um, this will make sure that all these are right one on top of one another. We cannot squeeze another one in. And when this finally rolls all the way out here, come on. At the moment our science is well it's not held up it's just it could go faster and we're actually going to do that to make it go faster so to speak uh, but now you can see we're, we're reaching the end of the belt a lot better so it's only the last six or so furnaces um need to just be dragged off to the side yeah the main belt's just gonna be dragged off to the side use a splitter right and we're good to go um just to squeeze just a little bit more out of that belt. Uh, I need some of them. Oh, can't have it on the mount. Can't have it on the mount. Somebody's going to go nuts. Uh, going to bring that up to there. I'm going to take our power there to there. All right. Next thing we really need to get going, we've got two of the main resources going. We've got a little bit of steel being made down here. And I've got a fair bit of my inventory. Uh, but we're researching for electric power poles. And that's actually the next thing we desperately need. We desperately need steel production. So... Let's make 20 of those. Let's grab belt. I've got belt. I need a heap of belt. And I need a heap less coal. So we'll dump this coal. We're going to grab a heap of belt. Uh, what did I run out of? I ran out of iron. We'll just empty that. And I ran out of green circuits. So I'm going to empty that. Just to make sure I have stuff on me to make important things like splitters. Uh, gun turrets. Yeah, I need a couple of gun turrets. Because we need more iron to make more steel. Uh, steel's used in lots of things. One of the number one things that'll be used in is bigger and better furnaces for us. Along with... I ran out. Of course I ran out. Ah, uh, research. There we go. Bigger and better furnaces. That's one of the very first things we want to try and take off. Actually, we're going to do that one first. Lab research speed. Uh, plus 20% to research speed. Uh, 13 of those. Sure. All right, we'll put down our belts whilst we wait for more miners to be made. Uh, 
Really? More miners again? Uh, and gun turrets. Where'd they go? Crap. I've only got two of them. Oh, uh, let's hope for the best. Put one here. We'll put one there so I know where it is, roughly. Uh, no. Control right click. Control right click. So it's got 30 in it. That'll do. And then we'll go put 30 in this one. 20 odd. That'll do. We need power poles run. Up and down our furnace array. Our furnace array. Our mining array. Uh, now, somebody's going to ask, and it, it's it's somewhat important to know, somewhat not important to know, how many um, miners, because we've done how much plate, iron plate we need. Uh, really can't make any more? No, of course not. Um, how many uh, iron plate we need for a single um, yellow belt? And same question is probably going to ask about the ore. Generally, the answer is double. No, half. Half. It's one miner per... Uh, one miner does two furnaces. So if we've got 48 furnaces there, you want about half, just, just a little bit over half. The actual answer is 26. 26 uh, miners will um, fill a yellow belt. And we've got 42 here currently. So it means we know straight away we have more than a yellow belt's worth of input. Uh, we've got three belts worth. So we need to get three belts all mushed together. Uh, if somewhat efficiently. And that's how I'm going to do it. It's probably not clean, um, but it'll do us. And we're going to also put a radar right beside this gun turret. Just to, so we can keep expanding out our reach and our range and make sure we don't find any little friends. At the same time, we need stone, because we've got this little stone patch down here, but it's not nearly enough. We're gonna run into real stone problems very, very soon. So we're gonna drag all this iron up with us. Now I'm dragging two belts worth, because we're making, we're making a belt in a bit. Really? We're under attack. There we go! The sound didn't go off until something actually got destroyed. That'd be about right. Uh, did we ever make a machine gun? No. Go! Pistol whip them all! Uh, they destroyed that belt, and that belt, and that belt, and that belt, and that belt, and... That belt. Uh, what do we want? We want processing. And more importantly, they got all our belts mixed up. Really? Are they at the other end? They got pushed along on the belt, and they're up at this end now. Yeah? So combat is you hold space. If you hold space, it just shoots at whatever it can see. Um. You can hold down control to individually target things. So if I want to kill this tree because it's really annoying me, I can hold down C and we'll aim exactly at it. Um, or just spacebar. Spacebar just shoots at anything in range that's an enemy. Uh, okay, so we've got our two little belts of iron ore. We're going to take our belt of uh, coal. I'm going to move it over here. Now I've put down ghost belts. These don't actually exist. I did that by holding shift. Um, so I can line things up. And more importantly, I don't want to join these yet. I actually want this belt to drain first. 
because um, I really don't want to pick up all that coal by hand. Uh, we need a new smelting array, and for that we're probably going to need a lot more furnaces. Uh, let's make 11 more miners whilst we're here. Let's probably get some iron. Now, same story, you can hold down control and actually click on these furnaces that are probably full of iron and drag out iron that way. Uh, we're going to grab some more belt, a lot more belt. We're going to make some of these. We're going to go to this one and we're going to rob all 800 rounds out of it. Uh, and science is still backed up. As long as there's science down this far down the belt, that means we're still backed up. Uh, we need to put down some defenses, obviously. Now, I'd love to automate these things, but they just take so much time and so many resources that it's just not going to happen at the moment. Uh, so it's a nice bit of copper. Nice bit of coal. But we need stone. Desperately. Desperately, desperately. And that little amount is really not going to help. Uh, tool belt. That'll give us twice as many slots down here so we can quickly access things. Not that you see me use my tool, tool, tool belt too often. Uh, but the feature will be there. I've got stone right here. How the hell did I miss that? Because it just blends in now. It, it really does blend in. And the stone right there. Really? It looks like just ground artifacts now. Well, there you go. Alright. Um, we want a new smelting array for steel. Now, we did cover that steel uses iron. So we're actually going to make a whole new smelting array to just do steel. Which is built slightly different. Well, very different, actually. Uh, so. We're quite familiar with this being the top side of this. Uh, inserters. I've got 40 on me. That'll do to start with. Uh, nope. I do not want them on the output just want them on the input because this one's built slightly different because we've got to make iron and then turn that iron into steel we're basically double smelting everything so we're going to put another smelter basically here and feed it that way uh, okay inserters there I have all of those um, what else do we need I need a stack of those, and I'm actually going to make those in advanced. Alright, so logically you would assume if we put iron and iron and um, iron ore and coal down this belt, fed them in here, we'd have iron. If we then feed them in here, we'd have steel. Problem is we then need to get fuel into this one, which is a little bit tricky. A lot tricky, in fact. Uh, so, we're actually going to do it reverse. We're going to feed just iron down this belt. We're then going to use a burner inserter, which is a much more simple inserter, being the fact that it needs fuel to run. So we can actually use burner inserters for the outside of these guys. Um, they're slightly less efficient um, than taking the coal, converting the coal into power and then running these guys um, and they're a little bit slower as well but for early early game they don't need that damn electric circuit so generally these get used a lot more I should have built them for my early furnaces but I forgot uh, so we're gonna do so we're gonna turn a put a coal line down here and then we're going to as we've already got coal feed fuel in there uh, and then create steel and bring it out. The only catch is we need to get iron from this guy to this guy. So the easiest way to do that is with these long-handed inserters. 
Um, which then means getting this belt through is going to be a bit difficult. Thank you, research. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do that. So we're going to feed the coal down the middle through these underground belts. We're then going to move the iron across, uh, uh, add coal from either side, and bring our steel out here. Now, as I said earlier, uh, these furnace arrays are a set length of 48, because that's how much yellow belt is. Um, steel takes five times longer. So you can make these five times, well, you have to make these five times longer to get the correct, correct amount of, you know, one yellow belt of steel on the output. The catch is you're only bringing one belt of iron ore in. So I have half a belt here plus half a belt here, which equals one belt in, which means one belt out. Um, for this particular setup, I'm bringing one belt of iron ore in. If I extend it past here, the iron ore won't get any further. It will have already been used up by the first row of uh, furnaces. So this is why we build this. This is why I build this. I'll say I, because there's lots of different designs out there. This is why I build this furnace array in this style. Uh, and using the power of blueprints... We can just walk along and set them down. Uh, where'd that blueprint go? In my new tool belt. Uh, so, that's one side. We then need to build the other side. Burner inserters out. Uh, we need long handed. We need YouTube in. And then we need a belt of iron. So now we've got the basics done. Uh, uh, where's the splitter? Because we're just fitting iron on both sides of the belt, we can just put literally iron both sides in, a, in through one splitter. Uh, but coal has to get in there and in there. So we need to take our coal belt up, around. Oops. Uh, I'm actually going to move that because it's going to get in our way there. I'm going to put it closer to center. Uh, I'm going to take our splitter and move that along one. Put that belt in there. Take that up. Put that belt into oops into there. Take that one up, and that'll work for me. We'll just curve it in that way. All right. So we've got our coal running. We've got half our furnace array done. We need to copy and paste that and run it along. Um, not that any of this gets placed, but now we know where everything has to go. Uh, put down all these furnaces. And then all these furnaces. And that's it for that. Uh, inserters. Come on. Actually, I should be handcrafting a heap of those whilst I think about it. Because we're going to need a lot of undergrounds. Really? Where now? 
That's a few friends. Uh, press tab to change weapons. No! Don't block my turret. I thought you had a friend. You did. Your friend didn't make it. Uh, we need to make some repair packs. We definitely need some more turrets. Um, obviously the natives are not particularly happy about us being here. So, how about some more bullet damage? Uh, repair packs. Alright, we're going to have to fortify the front line. Well and truly. Let's put another gun turret there. Another gun turret there. Another gun turret there. Another one there. Uh, let's give you 100 ammo. You 100 ammo. You 100. And you 100. We are going to force the natives out. I'm going to take rid of my get rid of my pistol because I don't want to accidentally change and use my pistol. Um, because that would be embarrassing mid combat. Uh, pair these belts just so they're not sitting there looking silly. Um, where do we get up to? Mm, almost to the end. Uh, okay. Put this belt, underground belt down. Um, now, like I said, there is, there is many, many designs when it comes to steel smelting. Um, or any of these furnace arrays, in fact. Um, there's been many designs made. There's been pros and cons for each and every one of them. Uh, this is the one I like. I'll, I'll just say that. Uh, turn you to a standard belt and you to a standard belt. Underground, uh, long handed. And because I've now got the undergrounds in place, I can just run along the belt. Make sure these go in the right direction. That's that done. Uh, I probably don't have nearly enough of burner inserters. But as you can see, these little guys, they're picking up coal. They're feeding themselves first, and then they're feeding the furnace. Uh, they are very, 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 very good at doing anything that requires just fuel. Um, they can work on mixed belts with both fuel and other resources. But there is a catch that if you run out of fuel, they might run out of energy and then they might need to be manually reprimed by just dropping just a little bit of fuel in them to get them back up and running. Uh... Does he have enough? No. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 5, 5, 1. And I'm out of gears in my inventory. Uh, but I do have some coal. I have some coal furnaces. Uh, that one, those two, those two, those two, those two, those two. So the last thing we need is power. Uh... Let's start with power up here. And then in the middle row as well. And the other reason I'm going to steal is medium. Thank you. Let's go to shooting speed next. Um, medium power poles, which is the next step up from the, these small power poles, don't require wood. And we have a little bit of a wood problem. Okay. Build in the belts. Uh, build this belt in. Whoops. Uh, okay. Whoop. No, the natives got taken out. No! They're munching on something. There he is. Get him. There's another one. Get him too. Another one. Uh, we 
we could really do with some more gun turrets, it seems. Let's make a whole heap. Uh, I'm going to end up having to run around repairing everything at the rate we're going. Uh, you run out of... Well, we don't really need these guys anymore if we're getting real... Uh, real steel up and running. Let's actually pick these guys up. And then we'll replace some of the ones we're missing in the actual furnace array. Uh, come on, where are these gun turrets? They're waiting on gears. Let's steal a heap of gears. Uh, yeah, they still take eight seconds to craft. They're not fast. Uh, okay, last few furnaces that I actually own. So the last thing we need to, is we need to get these iron belts uh, moved up. sure I leave as much space as possible in case I need that space for something else uh, I need to underground no, I'm gonna underground yeah I'm gonna underground that one I was thinking I'll underground the coal and save myself just a little bit of materials because I got a second iron belt I still need to feed through no not gonna happen uh, I'm gonna take that iron belt up there out of the way Bring that up, and we're going to underground this coal belt. So, like I said, it is the quicker of the two, the cheaper of the two to underground. Uh, so, it's one belt done. Bring that one across, up. Uh, I'm actually going to go that one on that one. Do it that way. Uh... Alright, so when that gets down there, because we're only feeding a belt in, we're putting half on either side at the moment. As soon as we get. Thank you, research. I was busy doing something. I'm trying to give an example here. Because um, we're only feeding a belt in, it's putting half on either side. As soon as we get two belts in, so you're still half on either side. As soon as we get two belts in, we should have a full belt on both sides of them. Perfect. See, isn't that awesome? Uh, now, because we actually have now we have two belts, I can double the length of this. So that is something you have to keep in mind. As long as you're feeding two belts in, you can build it twice as long. Uh, okay, gun turret time. We don't see any biters yet, but we know we definitely know they're out there. Uh, gun turret, put one there. You could have a hundred rounds. There's one right there. He's being friendly, just as I was friendly back, and shot him in the head. Uh, all right, research-wise, we're gonna go for logistics two. Which will be red belts. It makes things go faster. Uh, oh no. We've got a bullet shooting speed. Let's do that. Uh, as you can see, these have a green range around them. Something lit up. i got a notification down here. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that each turret can roughly cover its friend. Doesn't have to be perfect, just, just roughly. So we now have steel processing. So that's three items. Um, more importantly, we can build steel power poles. So let's grab an assembler. Mm, here. And this is far from neat. Oh, look, we got a level two assembler. Let's use a level two. Uh, really? It's off by square. Steel, uh, steel medium power pulse, which is steel and copper. Um, insert up there. And then we need copper. 
which we are going to weave down and hook in there with an output chest right here which we will cut to say three stacks that's 150 because they stack in a 50 uh it'll only take half a second to craft so we're literally waiting on inserters uh but that's fine we've we've got the starts we've got the starts and look i'm actually going to call it here for this episode um we have a somewhat defended somewhat running base the only thing i'm going to do is i'm going to upgrade you two no to fast service with a level 2 assembler. That's a bit better. Can I use slow inserts? Oh, I can! No, I can't. No, I can't. But I'm willing to bet I can use one fast insert. Oh, almost! A fast and a slow then. Done. Done. Yep, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, um, down in the comments, leave me your thoughts, leave me your questions. Um, tell me if I didn't cover something correctly or, or you want more details on anything. Um, and as always, um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!